Hey guys, welcome to math today. Let's play beep the number. That's where I give you a couple of numbers and I beep one out. And then my friend Julius is gonna see if he can figure out which number is missing. Are you ready? Okay. One, two, beep, four. Er, the missing number is three. You're right, Julius. All right, now I'm gonna step it up a level. 16, 17, beep. The next number is 18. Nice work, Julius. You were really thinking about that pattern. Okay, your next set of numbers is 21. 22, beep, 24, the number that must send is 23. You got it, Julius. Okay, okay. What about 27? Twenty-nine. Oh, Anna, this one, um, the missing number. I can't really throw down. It was 16, 17, 18. So this must be 27. 28! 28 is the missing number. Julius, what a great way to think about it. You are so right. Okay, what about... 15, 16, beep! The muscle number is 17! You got it, Julius! Okay, okay, okay. Last one. What about 10, 11, beep, 13? 10, 11, 13. Hmm. Or oh, Anna, I think it's 13. That's really close, Julius. This is a tricky number for me because it sounds different than almost all the other numbers. Let's think about it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. What comes next? 12! It's 12! You're right. It starts switching over to the teens with 13. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20! <laughs> Counting is so much fun, isn't it, Julius? Should we count all the way to 30? Yes, please! I, 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 I want to go really, really, really fast. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, Did you go too fast? Sometimes I count too fast and then I lose all my numbers. It's like they fall out of my head. Back in there, numbers. Let's go a little bit slower. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty. 3, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30! 
Nice work, Julius. You've been really practicing your counting, haven't you? All right, you guys. I have my handy dandy cubes and I have this recording sheet. And at home, you can use a whiteboard or a notebook to record your findings while we do this math. But I'm gonna record it using my Google Doc right here. So we need to make a 10 stick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh-oh, that's not how the pattern goes. Nine, ten. Now we're going to actually break it apart. So now we have 10 separate blocks. So let's do some math. We know we have 10 all together. Hmm. Let's see. What if I split them up like this? And I do one over here and nine over here. If we put that into our math sentence, then we get one plus nine equals 10. Does it work? Yep, we have 10. Now what if I split it up like this? I have two over here. How many do I have over here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if we fill in our math sentence, we get two plus eight equals 10. Does it work? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we still have 10. Now what if I split it like this? I put three over here. How many do I have over here? Let's fill in this math sentence as we go. We have three. Three plus beep equals 10. How many are in this stick? How many are left over? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three plus Seven equals ten. Now what if we split it like this and we put four over here? Four plus beep equals ten. How many are left over? How many will get us to 10? One, two, three, four, five, six. What if we split it like this and we put five over here? Five plus beep equals 10. I can compare these and say, oh, they're the same height. They're just as tall as each other. So I know that they're the same. If there's five in this stick, there must be five in this stick. We can also count them, one, two, three, four, five. Five plus five equals 10. So what if we put six over here? How many will be in this stick? And if I look at our recording sheet, I notice something. 
just like I'm making a pattern over here that goes green, red, green, red, green, red, and so on and so forth, there are patterns forming as we fill in our chart. One plus nine is 10, two plus eight is 10, three plus seven is 10, let's make 10. So if you go down vertically, you can see one, two, three, four, five. And if you go down vertically here, you see nine, eight, seven, six, five. If we were to continue this pattern vertically, what would come next? One, two, three, four, five, six. Does that match? One, two, three, four, five, six. And what would come next vertically here? Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Does that match? One, two, three, four. Six plus four equals 10. Four plus six equals 10. Same. So what happens if we separate them seven on one side and three on the other? Seven, three, does that equal 10? Let's count them all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It does, it works. And does it finish uh, our pattern? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. It does. So let's split this stick. So there's two on this side and there's eight on this side. So we have eight and two. Does that get us to 10? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And it finishes our pattern. So who knows what's gonna go here next? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Does 9 plus 1 equal 10? Is that what we have over here? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yep, and 1. 9 plus 1 equals 10. Just like 1 plus 9 equals 10. Two plus eight equals 10, just like eight plus two equals 10. Three plus seven equals 10, just like seven plus three equals 10. Four plus six equals 10, just like six plus four equals 10. 5 plus 5 equals 10. 5 plus 5 equals 10. Now, as long as we're going in the pattern, it's going to stay the same. But if I was filling this out and I was being tricky, if instead of going nine plus one equals 10, eight plus two equals 10, what if I threw in a tricky one and I went, hmm, what does three plus I don't know what comes next. How do we get to 10? 
would you be able to just go down the list and go nine, eight, seven? Well, because it's not a seven, is it? Would you be able to go one, two, three? Is three plus three ten? No, because it breaks the pattern. It's different. What is missing here in our math sentence? Three plus. You can do it on your fingers while I do it on my cubes. See, we've one here, two, three. So how many do we have here? Seven. I hope you had fun doing your math today. See you later.